Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pray of the Gods. Pray for the Pray for the Gods. God, I I always get that mixed up. What's that noise? Boar? Probably a boar. Alright, so last time we left off, we defeated a giant worm that I believe was called the Devourer. It's a deer or an elk or something like that. I don't think I have any arrows. I do not. Okay, well. You get to live thing. Although I would like your, your juicy juicy meat because uh, I do believe I need food. I think I'm very low on food. Well, I have this, the large meat burned that someone screwed up. Ooh, this music. Why is this music so hype? Oh God, that's why the music's hype. Uh, bye-bye. I want nothing to do with you. <laughs> I was like, why is the music hype? I don't know. Let's see if I can get in here. Uh... I... don't like the looks of that. What are you? Ow! Okay, well you do that. No. Quit it. Okay, okay, maybe we shouldn't do this. Uh, you know what, you know what, never mind. I've decided against it, actually. You can keep going about your day. Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. Continue, please. Oh my god, okay. Munch. Huh, please. Can I get a moment's break? Jeez, okay. Where are we going? We're going down here. This is towards the next god we have to slay or whatever. Okay, can I actually... I, I don't think I can hit you. You're a ghost. Which, so it makes sense. I can't hit you. Will you go away, please? No, you're still chasing me. How long are you gonna chase me? Are you gonna chase me forever? What is this? Go away, please. Okay, I think they finally went away. I don't know how you're supposed to fight ghosts. But whatever. Alright. Yeah, we're moving up on the next objective here. I, I would like to try and fight that guy, but I don't even know how I would begin to do so. Probably a bow would be best. I'm glad these things don't murder you like they do in Valheim. In Valheim, you just get murdered if a like one of these logs rolls on you. There we go. Okay, I think I need another weapon. I do have another one. Oh, hey, a note. We've been coming here for so long, repeating the ceremonies again and again. Now we are twisting and bending the rituals for what? What good is living if we have to destroy the world and our beliefs to stay a part of it? Yeah, we've been coming here for so long, repeating the ceremonies again and again. Now we are twisting and bending the rituals, and for what? What good is living if we have to destroy the world? Yeah, because we're killing gods right now, right? So... Uh-huh. Maybe I should... Keep my weapon? And we need more wood, don't we? Right? We totally need more wood. Uh... I think I just got a message on my phone. Okay. So... Yeah, um, I, I needed an electrician to come out, and apparently... They are able to come out today. I was worried they maybe wouldn't be able to, but it seems like they are. I'm still gonna have enough time to record this video, but I should probably re uh, respond to this text message really quickly, so give me a moment. Okay, sorry. That's that's important. Gotta make sure I respond to that because I've been having uh, problems with my electricity recently. So I've been trying in vain to get an, an electrician to come out here, but they're all like booked. But this one, they said they can squeeze me in, so... <clears throat> Alright, let's go down here and see if we can battle another creature. I'm not, I, yeah, I'm not sure how hard I'm gonna bum rush the story or not yet. But like, I, I don't know. I That unique enemy right there. I want to try and fight them, but right now it doesn't seem viable, so maybe I need to get some resources, but 
I would like to maybe make some progress of like one of these a day while also trying to do some of the other stuff. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to do everything there is in the game just because that seems like a lot. And slide. No? And the boss, the cool, the cool crazy boss fights are, I assume, what you come to this game for. Okay, that's where the boss fight arena is. Is there a place I can, like, rest around here? That would be really nice. There's, like, a banner over there. Hello. I wish I could catch you with my axe. Unfortunately not. How- what- what did it take to make bows- or arrows? Um, let's go over here. So... wood. What does it take to make arrows? Just- just one thing of wood? Is that really it? Yeah, you- you did it. Oh, fi- you get five. Okay. Okay, no, make- make some more arrows, actually. Wait, I think it's like rope too, which makes a lot of sense. For a second I thought it just took wood, but I'm like, no, that's dumb. Okay, so it does take some other stuff. Cool. Well, now we have arrows. I could take you out. There was also a, a deer or an elk or what have you up here. Right? Where were you? Did you run down there? I'm pretty sure I saw you. There you are. Let's get over here. Yeah, you see me. Uh-huh. Can you chill for a second? Ah! Ah! Come on! This reticle does not zoom in a lot. So it's also I'm aiming on the controller. Ah, oh, come on! Wow, it doesn't even care. That was a headshot. Oh, I'm out of arrows, really? Come here, you. Me. What? No, don't you. Okay, you're in the rock. <laughs> you're in the rock. Alright, you, you have fun in there, friend. I tried to corner you. Now all of my arrows are gone because I just wasted them trying to kill that. Great, and I can only pick one of them back up. And my bow's almost- okay, well. Well, that's unfortunate. That's extremely, extremely unfortunate. Alright, well, that's a bummer. Alrighty. So, let's go down here. And see what we got. Because there's a banner down here that I kind of want to check out. So it kind of seems like an interesting- Point of interest. I want to find more of the totems so I can get more stamina. Ooh, it seems colder in this area. Okay. Seems a wee bit colder in this area. I'll probably need to upgrade my armor and such before we get too far into these zones too, because yeah, my heat's my heat's going down now. Stuff please. Uh, that, that. Boom, boom. And... Come on. Gimme, gimme. All of the stuff. There we are. Alright, is there anything of interest over here, maybe? It's like a foundation, and there's some... Some flags. So I'm like, maybe there's something? But yeah, my heat's going down fast. I'm gonna have to get out of here quickly. The survival aspects remind me of, uh, Don't Starve. Which, I mean, there's, there's survival aspects, so that makes a lot of sense. But, I've played a lot of Don't Starve, so... Why can't I sleep in this? That seems like a pretty fine place to sleep. Alright, I think I should probably get back out of here now. Oh, wait, there's stuff up there, though. There's like an actual sparkly sparkle up there. Hmm. Yeah. We're getting tired and I'm getting cold. Can I climb this? I can. 
Okay, let's get up here, grab this stuff, and then we'll probably head back to where the boss was. What I really need, though, is a place to sleep. Can I make bedrolls, I wonder? Really cool if I could. Ooh, there's even a thingy over here. Give me your stuff. It's more rope. Always needed. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the axe to break these, actually, since you can just punch them. Well, thank you. Uh, no space for that. Isn't that alcohol? <clears throat> it sure is. Which I could just use to increase my... Eat right now. There we go. Now give me. I do not know how all this how this all started, but I know we must end it. There is no other choice but to kill them all or suffer the same fate as those wretches that came before us. We must convince the others. Not all, but enough to stop this nightmare. Okay, how do I... Is the thingy up above? It sounds like it's like right here. Okay, it's up here. Cool. Good, good, good. I want more of these. I want as many of these as I can get. Very, very awesome. Alright. Get me from down from here. We gotta get out of here and go heat up. Oh, I wanted to grab that. Okay, well that's just my legs. It's fine. You know, I don't need those. Definitely, definitely don't need my legs. Make fire to stay warm. Yeah, we're gonna start taking damage if I don't hurry up. Uh, I think we can make it. Let's let's drink some of this really quick, and then we can get back to where it's not as windy, right? Let's check out the map. Yeah, I was way over there, but if we run up this way. <clears throat> We should be good. Yeah, okay, it's not as... Not as windy and snowy over here. Good, good, good. There's even some more berries for me to eat. Neato. Oh, man, yeah, I can't believe... I, like, I'm pretty sure I headshot that deer, and it was just like, uh-uh. I'm gonna return to my people. Because I would have some meat right now. If I could have killed that thing. I don't know if I'm just bad at the hunting, or if it's a little buggy, or what, but it seemed harder to kill that. Maybe I should just focus on the boars. I thought a headshot would, like, kill them instantly, but aiming with the bow is incredibly hard because of how massive the reticle is. It's kind of hard to tell where my arrow is actually going to go. <clears throat> That's probably intentional, though. Hello. I don't have a weapon. I can punch you. <laughs> Bye, piggy. You get to live another day. There's the stupid deer. I wonder if it respawned. Oh, well, I, I don't think I can kill it. Unfortunately. I am also tired. But there's no place nearby to sleep. And I used my, my blanket roll already. Can we make anything? Let's see, we have... Make arrows, another axe, a bow, a grapple. Make a fire. There we go. Good old fire. Oop, don't stand in it. I think that hurts you. Stand close to it. Alright, and yeah, we need to get our food up so our stamina is in a better spot for this fight. <clears throat> Although being low on sleep is also going to screw me over. Didn't one of these things raise your... Ah, yeah, the green elixir. Yeah, let's use that. There we go. Let's drink our coffee. And this raises my heat and that. It restores stamina and that. Okay. Well, we're nice and heated up. Let's go ahead and open the door and see what we got in here, why don't we? It sounds like a plan to me. Oh, God. Okay, that, that goes down. Do I... If I make it raise all the way up, I think I can run under it in time. Right? Run, 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 run. Yep. We sure can. <clears throat> For a second, I thought I was going to have to find something to put on it. So it would stay down. Alright, this is totally a boss fight area. Yep. 
Oh, come on. There was fire in here. I could have just used... I should have assumed so. There's usually fire in front of the boss fight areas. Well, at least I can heat all the way back up. Alright, so what's going on here? How does this work? That raises the gate. But... I don't think I can get to the gate, right? Not that, no. Uh, the grapple hook. Yeah, there's... Nowhere to grapple, really, from what I can tell. It looks like maybe we can go down? Oh, that goes back slowly. Okay. Well, let's go down. These remind me of the rush rooms in Breath of the Wild right here. Uh, interact, yeah. Just want to make sure I'm pressing the right button here. Alright, let's go down here and see what we can find. Maybe there's something going on down here. That'll help me solve this puzzle. If it is actually a puzzle and it's not just stand on it and get to the place fast enough. Yeah, because the gate's closed now. I think I can just drop. Yeah. Alright, cool. Swim. I don't even know your name yet, I realize. Yeah, there's where the bridge fell, I believe. I could climb, like, up to the other side of it. I came down here because there was a shiny. And I wanted to see what the deal with the shiny was. There's also a shiny over there in the water. Hello. Luring it was easy, but containing the beast proved difficult. It, I, it may have blinded it, but we found it very sensitive to sound and touch. It's blind, but it's very sensitive to sound and touch. Okay, so whatever creature we're finding next is blind. Do I have like a crouch or something? I don't know that I do. One arrow. One singular arrow. Alright, you're a dead person. So, what do I do now? Guessing I gotta get back up there, huh? That's probably the case. Alright, let's start the climb, I suppose. This one has a little bit more build-up to it than some of the other ones have. That's ice. We can't climb ice. Can I climb this? Yeah, we can climb this. Okay. <clears throat> it's just ice that we can't climb, which makes a lot of sense. We need an ice pick. Alright, get me up here. And then I can... Work on regaining some of my stamina, maybe? Yeah. Okay, climb again. There we go. Get up there. Alright, we've made it this far. Uh, climb over that, please. Thank you. Alright, we've made it this far. Now what? Can I climb this wall? No, this is ice. Uh... Do I maybe need to walk up it? Mm. Okay, maybe this isn't the way we need to do that. This isn't the way that we're supposed to do this. How else am I supposed to get up there, though? Can I even climb back up there? I think I may have jumped down here and kind of trapped myself. Possibly. Also, I don't like the looks of this place. It's kind of spooky. I'm a little intimidated. I'll be honest. And the music's not helping. Alright, so what is... the deal with you? Something over here. <gasps> Ooh, thank you! Yes! Okay, we have a we have an upgrade now. Um, yeah, go over there. Somebody asked, they're like, how do you do that? I just pressed R1 as many times as I possibly could to get over here. Uh, I, I want more stamina. Always more stamina. It's basically always the answer. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, there's another one. A bunch of arrows. 
another door I don't think I can interact with. Yeah, where am I supposed to go, actually? Because I don't think I can do anything with this door. Huh. Color me confused. I'm just kind of swimming around at the moment. Unsure of what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh-huh. So... I guess I need to try and figure out how to get back up there. I guess. It's weird that this one actually has a dungeon. I mean, they've explained it in the note. They're like, we trapped it in here specifically. That's why the things seem to, you know, uh, I guess I can get back up this way because this isn't ice. Um, they're like, we trapped it by uh, luring it in here and that's why the switches, uh, like you step on them and then they close behind you. That's probably how they got the thing in. <clears throat> All right, well, I at least want to get back up to the top. I still don't even know what those mushrooms I picked up do. Okay, I think we can go a little bit faster here. We can kind of utilize our jumps to cover some more distance. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to make it, so I'll speed this process up a little bit. Yeah, just like in Breath of the Wild, the actual climbing doesn't really use that much stamina. But when you jump, it does use quite a bit, but it's faster. Okay, we're almost up here. Yeah, I know, I'm almost out of stamina. Alright, so... Now the question just becomes, how in the world... do we get over there? So, I don't think I checked. Can I... can I grapple onto... I can. Okay, that's how we're supposed to do it then. Uh, what's the new thing that I got? You guys. Uh... Provide some relaxation when cooked and eaten. It makes one feel awake and refreshed. Alright. Uh huh. Okay, I can't get that one now. Do I have to wait for them to stop? What? Couldn't I latch on to that other one? Or am I crazy? Am I nuts? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... The question is now, what do I do, though? Like, I need to... Somehow... Yeah, the door is still closing. I need to somehow get over there. Oh, we just sailcloth. That's right, I forgot about the sailcloth. We haven't used it in a bit. Okay, well now we know how to do it. Perfect. Alright, so let's do that again. And we just uh, grapple onto you and then do our thing. So let's do that. You're moving. Get up here. Alright, and once you get high enough, we sail cloth over there. And jump! Alright, this is it. We did it. Those are some neat little puzzles, I gotta say. <clears throat> Alright, now how much of a pain in the ass are you gonna be? What is that? A boar? It certainly appears to be. You're like uh, one of the Colossi in Shadow of the Colossus that are tiny. Well, comparatively. Or you're like an elephant thing. Uh... Do I get you to run into the pillars, maybe, and then you get stunned and I can climb you? Do you have like a- you do have a grapple point. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Hello. Just let me get on that grapple point, friend. Nope. Actually aim it better. Can I- oh, that's not a grapple point, that's your weak spot. Shit. Where's your grapple point? Do you not have one? I don't know that you do. Okay, so how are we supposed to... 
do something with you. It said you're blind. So if we walk, maybe? What are you falling for? Can I, like, climb your foot, maybe? Hmm. What are those things? Maybe they're important? They look like they could be, like, gongs or something. It said they were very sensitive to sound. That's what it is. Very sensitive to sound. So if we ring a gong, you're gonna get super messed up by that. Also, let's go ahead and eat. There we go. So get up on there. Do you like that? You hate it. What are you doing? Are you gonna run at this and hit your head? I think you are. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay, you fell on top of me. That was uh, not ideal. Ow. Ow. That was not the spot to try and climb. Here? Here. There we go. There's some hair. Uh... Jump? Okay, no. Let's just hold on until you're back up, I guess. Alright, well, we, we understand how the boss works now. So that makes this a much easier endeavor. Alright, we're, we're on you. Let's, uh, there we go. No, what are you doing? Okay. I thought you fell for a second. Uh, okay, we're good. All right, let's start ringing these bells. Nope, nope. All right. Bang! Uh-huh, you don't like it, you hate it. Yeah, this reminds me of the kind of small colossi that you fight in Shadow of the Colossus. There's like a pretty tiny one that you interact with. Dang. That's not fully done, though. Still got one more. There we go. Now it's done. And that restored my heat. Okay, good. Let's get up here and get our stamina back, though. Alright, so where was the next one? Where was that next one? Is it over there? It is. It's over there. Alright, so... I need to get up... here. Release and see... Ooh! No! Damn it, we fell. Okay, well that was close. Alright, that one's been destroyed. I think that's what that means. So I think we need to go to this other one now. All right, we're back on the ground, so we do have to be careful here. Don't worry, big guy. I'm about to hit your thingy so that you'll run into it. All right, we're good. Get on there. Hey, you hate this, right? Let's eat one of these. There we go. Come on. You know you want to. <clears throat> Come on. There's a juicy human right here. All right. Oh no, you do have to wait for the entire animation to finish. Okay. Yeah, you gotta... I thought once he started charging, you could um, get off of it. But no, he'll stop and be like, uh-uh. All right, come on, big guy. We don't have all day. Remember, I got electricians coming. So... We'll just get off at the last second. Never mind. Okay, so the window for that is way smaller than I thought. I didn't think that was gonna one hit me. Wow. Okay. Wait, and it, oh, it took my progress all the way back over here. It undid my stamina. Okay. Well, we know how the boss fight works now. Let's see, when did I get that text saying they'd be here in 45 minutes? We got that 25 minutes ago, so I think I should have enough time to finish this. And especially now that I know more about the boss and how to fight it. 
So apparently if you get off the button too soon, the monster just says screw it. But if you do, if you uh, stay on it too long, then the monster gores you against the wall. Which, fantastic. Not what I wanted. This. There we go. But at least we've solved the puzzle of how to actually get in here. So. Your hair is in your face. You should get that out of your face. You can't fight with hair in your face. Alright, let's go. Round two. Electric Boogaloo. Alright. Come on, you big thing. Can you skip? You can't skip. Cool. Alright. Uh, there's the gate. We can kind of hightail it this time. So did it, did it give me back my stuff? Oh, it totally did. I have my meat and everything back. So it just saves. Like, that was basically just my auto save for the area. That's what it does. Okay, so... Me up here. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead and munch munch. Alright, and... We gotta get out of the way faster than we did last time. Uh-huh. And now? Yeah, there we go. No! Really? Seriously? Come here, you big dumb idiot. Oh, that sucks. So, if you get off before, like, he's ready to hit it, you're just- he's just gonna turn around. Oh, that blows, actually. That blows a lot. Come on. What? Really? The window feels very small. Is there somewhere I can grapple to, maybe? The window feels absurdly small. How did I do it the first time and then just screwed up all these other times? It's annoying that I have to redo this every time. But at least it kept me getting it. Uh... Oh. Appears I'm getting a call. Okay. One second. Okay, that was actually a different electrician that I had called before saying that they could squeeze me in now. And I'm like, uh... I already have somebody else coming, actually. <laughs> So, I hope those people actually come now. Just hoping they didn't, uh, they didn't lie to me. Okay, this hitbox for this feels absurd, right? Like, I must be doing something wrong. It can't be that tight. I kind of wish I had never fallen off it the first time now, because we may have... We may, be already, we may have already been finished with the boss fight if I just hadn't fallen off and gotten all of the spots then. But we'll see. How did I skip you again? There we go. Alright, big guy. Can we not... I wonder if I had more HP if you wouldn't just one-hit me? Possibly. Because you, you one-hitting me is part of the big problem here. There we go. I healed up. All right, I'm gonna stand further on this side of the button so I can kind of, I don't have to run as far to get away. Oh, you, you, okay, you didn't kill me though. You didn't kill me though. Okay, that really sucks though, God. All right, get me up here. Let's get on to this bad boy. All right, wait for that. Stamina to regen and get up there. Can I, like, jump to that other one? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna have to wait. So can I... Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Okay, we, we, can't, ri we can't screw up again. I will lose... Completely... What? Oh, fuck off. I was trying to leap to get, uh, I was trying to leap to get onto your, to, up that other part, and then you just threw me off because you started moving. Oh, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Damn. Alright, let's try this again, I guess. This one's hard. 
It's not as simple as a lot of the other ones, unless I'm just missing something. It feels much harder, though. Because just the window for timing is really, really rough. Uh-huh. Get out of there. Yeah, see, he... It feels like the window is just way too small. Hmm. Man, this is, uh, really hard, actually. I also still deeply, deeply dislike that I have to redo this every single time I die, because I'm dying a lot to this one. Ugh, what am I doing wrong? Like, I managed to get up there, and then I stupidly tried to jump, which then the, the creature moved, and then I flew off. But it feels like it's just so damn hard to get on them in the first place. Like, are you supposed to? I feel like you're not supposed to take a hit. That seems like just dumb. No, no. Get your stupid correct weapon out. It even resets the thing I had out. I don't want the stupid bow. All right. Huh? Fly. All right. Get me back in here. Let's come on, skip the cutscene. I know, I don't care. All right. Would you kindly operate correctly, act right? All right, I'm gonna be over here on the switch. Apparently I need to dodge just a little bit sooner than I have been. I've been waiting for it to like actually make a ton of noise, but maybe that's not what you're supposed to do. I can't believe the smallest one is giving me the most trouble. Okay, now, get out of there. I, I still got hit. And I still got hit. Even after dodging like that. Damn, maybe you just- Aw, oh, come on! Fuck off. <laughs> God. Gotta worry about that shit, too. Alright, get me up here. Hurry up and get up. Uh, I'm probably gonna... If I fall off, that's probably gonna kill me. Right? I should have eaten there. Before I, uh, got on your back. Alright. Can you eat something now? You, you can't. I have to release. Okay, there we go. Nope. Okay, I don't want to fly off. You're gripping right now? Get off. There we go. No, grip. Grip! Okay. <sighs> I'm scared, okay? It's really terrifying, because falling off this thing, it's such a pain to get back on, so... Alright. Let's start beating you up again. There we go. I know you were just kind of chilling here trapped, and you're not really doing anything to me in particular, but, uh... Sorry, friend. Gotta put you down. Alright. Uh, wait, that wasn't enough? Seriously? It's got like a smidge left? No, stop. There we go. No, stop. Stop! Just, just hit it! There we go. <laughs> it kept trying to throw me off. Like, as soon as I was going for the, uh, the hit. Alright. So now... No, don't. Don't do that. No, just, just get... No, what are you doing? Please! Just get up! Okay. Uh. And... Grab. Thank you. No. Okay. Undo. Now. Okay, we're on here. Can I... Try some stuff here now? I'm, I'm gonna have to try and jump... To the other part over there, I think. Right? I, 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 that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Like, I'm supposed to jump over there. But I can't seem to get it to work. Especially since my character's, like, glitching out, apparently. There we go. Huh. Okay, we're good. I think. Hopefully we can get all the hits right now without having to take a rest. Because if I have to take a rest, I think we're boned. I'm gonna have to take a rest. 
or I'm just gonna fall off. No, just just hit it! Oh my god. Uh, this is rough. This is really, really rough, actually. It I don't know. I I feel like some of the systems at play here aren't as uh consistent as they should be. It, it's just, I don't know, sometimes it feels like I get stuck when I shouldn't and things like that, so it's just kind of annoying, more so than anything. Come on. If I die again, I'm going to have to end this episode. And I will probably die again right here. Come on, man. Really? That's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. Like... I, I suppose I never checked again about the grapple idea that I had. But I think the electricians are going to be here soon. Um... Mm. This one just feels really... I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know about this one in particular. Let's see, what, what episode of this is it? Let's see, this would be episode four. Uh, I don't know. I. I wanted to like this game. I thought it was a really, really cool idea, but I'm not super crazy about a lot of the survival mechanics that it has in play here. And this particular boss feels, I don't know. It, the, the game doesn't feel as consistent as it should for what you have to do. I find myself getting frustrated a lot and everything. And you know, like we've had a lot of really crazy bugs like the deer going into the wall and stuff. I just, I don't know. I don't think I'll enjoy playing all the way through the game, so it's a bit unfortunate that I bought it, but I don't really want to subject people to watching me go through something that I'm not enjoying and uh, just, you know, get, getting frustrated all the time, and I'm not going to have fun with it either, so I think we'll just go ahead and end it here. It was a nice little look at the game. The first two bosses were pretty good, and I had a fun time exploring the world and everything, but this one just feels... I don't know, annoying. And like I said, I'm not having a crazy fun time with the game anyway, to be honest. Sometimes this happens. I start a game and I play it and I'm just not crazy about it. And usually, you know, we're just like, eh, I guess we just won't play this one anymore. Because I play a bunch of indie games and I play a bunch of games like as soon as they release. So sometimes there's bugs and stuff. And while this game is a marvel and it's really, really cool, it, I don't know, it, it isn't fun to me, so... I think we're probably gonna go ahead and stop playing Pray for the Gods here, so... I hope you've enjoyed this short look at Pray for the Gods, but... I don't know, it, it just seems like it's not the kind of game for me, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for something new.